The most formidable predators of the Paleozoic era are without a doubt scorpions. These giant anthropods have been at the very top of the food pyramid for more than 200 million years and only the Permian extinction did not allow them to conquer not only the seas and oceans but also the land. Today, we will talk about how such a bizarre life form appeared and what type of crustacean scorpions inhabited our planet in different periods. It is correct to call these animals similar to monsters from science fiction films Europe Terrids and the colloquial English name Sea Scorpions and the Russian name Cancerous Scorpions are not correct from the point of view of science. Also, these names do not in any way reflect the real origin of these predators. From Greek, the name of this detachment can be translated as broad wing. It is due to the unusual structure of the hind part of the limbs of these animals, but cancerous scorpions sounds more understandable and familiar to most viewers. Therefore, we will continue to call Europe pterids crustaceans. Europe pterids appeared in the seas of the Ordovician period approximately 467 million years ago and about 251 million years ago as a result of the Permian extinction. All marine crustaceans disappeared. Only their descendants, who settled on land in advance, were able to survive this cataclysm. The first scientific descriptions of these anthropods were made in the early 19th century. Since this period, scientists have discovered a large number of wide variety of cancer scorpions. The length of some of them exceeded 2.5 meters, others were approximately waist high to an adult. The smallest representative of the order did not exceed 3 centimeters in length. Currently, more than 250 species of Europe pterids are known. All scorpion cancers had a similar structure. Their body was protected by a powerful chintina shell. The cephalothorax was covered with a large shield, and the tail had segmented armor. Six pairs of limbs were attached to the cephalothorax, performing various functions. The first pair were movable claws. The next four pairs were intended for walking. The sixth pair of limbs had a flat shape and was intended for swimming. It was she who gave the name to the entire detachment. In the front of the head, there were two pairs of eyes. Large compound eyes were located on the sides of the cephalothorax. A pair of simple eyes was in front of the head. The segmented, movable tail gradually tapered. At its end, there was a sharp, elongated spike or wide blade that worked like a fin. This body structure allowed crustaceans to both crawl along the bottom and swim. Most often, they moved in the bottom layers and also inhabited bays and estuaries. Late Europe pterids settled in freshwater bodies of water. Some of them could get to land for a short time. Already in the Ordovician period, crustaceans were divided into several families. Most species known to science belong to the Megalograptaceae or Stylonurines. The earliest representative of Megalograptaceae is considered to be the Pentacopter. Sea scorpions from this genus inhabited the world's oceans between 467 and 458 million years ago. According to researchers, their length could range from 75 to 170 centimeters. It is considered the largest scorpion cancer in its family. Scientists have a huge number of prints and fossils associated with this animal. Moreover, they all belong to individuals of different ages. This allowed the researchers to fairly fully recreate the appearance of the pentacopter. His head shield had the shape of a trapezoid extended along the body. A pair of spines had been preserved on the third subamere. Rear spine telson flat and elongated. Stylourines of the Ordovician period are represented by the genus Brachiotera. This scorpion cancer was very tiny in size. The length of its body was no more than 7 centimeters. It lacked chelicero claws and swimming limbs. Its last pair of legs was located under the abdomen. Based on this body structure, scientists assumed that this creature moved exclusively along the bottom. At the same time, Brachioteris like all other Eurypterids, was a predator. Scientists believed that it could lead the same lifestyle as modern cleaner shrimp, 
It is also believed that Brachioterans were parasites and lived off of large animals of the time. The Silurian and Devonian periods can be called the Age of Cancer Scorpions. At this time, Europe pterids reached their greatest prosperity. A large number of species and genera appeared. Their shapes and sizes were very diverse. Cancer scorpions became the dominant creatures. In some fossils from the time, their remains account for up to 90% of all paleontological finds. The most common species is considered to be the Europteris, a small predator that gives its name to the entire order. Mostly, its remains are found in the seas surrounding the South American continent. At this time, very large scorpion cancers also appeared. One of these giants was the Acaterum or Acaterimus, who lived approximately 409 to 422 million years ago. His remains are found in Canada, the USA, Russia, and the Czech Republic and Algeria. This indicates the widespread distribution of Acaterums. The largest representatives of this genus could grow more than 2 meters in length, while the smallest of them barely reached a couple of tens of centimeters. The chelicerae of giant crustacean scorpions from this order resembled the claws of modern crabs in structure, and its tail spike was flat and wide. Scientists suggest that the predator used it only for swimming. Most likely, these crustacean scorpions could not go on land. The Devonian extinction event affected many Eurypted species. By the middle of the Devonian period, at least 10 families of this order disappeared from the face of the earth. But on the other hand, it was at the beginning of the Devonian period that the largest crustacean scorpions appeared, among which we can highlight such a monster as Yekelopter. This crustacean is named in honor of its discoverer, paleontologist Otto Yekel. This predator could grow up to 233 to 260 centimeters in length. Fossils found in the United States and Germany range in an age of 406 to 410 million years ago. The grasping limbs of Yekelopteris with claws were more than 45 centimeters long. Its prey included other invertebrates and various species of fish. It is believed that the Yekelopteris was the closest living relative of Akutarama. Some scientists even suggest that it is the same animal. Significant differences between these species are found only in the structure of the cell array. They believe that the shape of the claws could have been influenced by lifestyle and habitat. Scientists find several explanations for the gigantic size of late scorpion cancers. It is believed that the size of anthropods is influenced by the weight of their shell. If you increase the armor in proportion to the size of the animal, then such armor will simply become unbearable. But the chintinous coating of the large Eurypetids is extremely thin. This allows the animal to maintain mobility despite its large size. A similar mechanism is observed in another giant representative of anthropods, the giant centipede Anthropleura. It is believed that the main reason for the extinction of crustacean scorpions was competition from armored and then lobe-finned fish. By the beginning of the Carboniferous period, only three families of crustacean scorpions survived, and they all lived in fresh water. The most successful cancer scorpions of this period were Adelphalms. This family included 23 species. This represented almost 70% of all extent Europterids. Their remains are found almost all over the world, and the latest of them is about 283 million years old. This widespread occurrence of Adela Phthalmos is associated with the next reapproachment of its continents. The land at that time was represented by one supercontinent, Pangaea. These last crustacean scorpions ranged in size from 5 to 32 centimeters and lived in shallow waters and coasts. By the end of the Permian period, not a single species of crustacean scorpion remained in the seas and oceans, as well as in fresh bodies of water. Only those species whose representatives moved to land in advance were able to continue existing. 
by the beginning of the Permian extinction, they could no longer be called crustacean scorpions. They gave rise to the development of new species of anthropods, which many became modern crayfish, crabs, and other animals known to us. We thank you for watching this video to the end. If you are interested in learning more about the history of the appearance and development of other animal species from different eras, we recommend that you pay attention to our previous issues. Our channel also publishes material about the problems of modern ecology and the history of the emergence of man.